everybody. It's me, Kendall, your teen services librarian. Today things are a little different because I'm filming from home. So these are my bookshelves and you might hear some dogs barking in the background possibly or see a cat because she refuses to be anywhere but in this room. Um, but today I'm here for another session of Crafter Noons. We are working on a project that I'm really excited about <laughs> and it is pine cone snowy owls. I made one the other day for practice to see how it would come out and it's so cute. I love it so much. So I really hope you guys will enjoy this craft. So in your craft kits, you should have some different pieces of felt, some gray, a piece of yellow and this dark I think this is actually navy but it was very close to black so I went with it you should have two googly eyes which I would pick up but let's see I can pick up one googly eye <laughs> you'll need a pine cone and you should have four or five cotton balls you probably won't need this many um, but I put extra in the kits just in case. I also, you will want to have a pair of scissors, um, some tacky glue or a hot glue gun, or really any kind of glue that you could use on this felt. Um, tacky glue I found is the best option because it dries clear and there's no risk of burning yourself like you could with a hot glue gun. Um, I also have a pencil just so I can outline the circles for the eyes on the felt. It doesn't make a dark line, it's just enough to see by and I find that to be really useful. So let's get started. I hope you don't mind that Ivy has joined us. She's thrilled to be a part of this. <laughs> um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cotton balls and we're going to just start pulling them apart. So we want little pieces like this. And then you're going to take those little pieces and you're going to squish it into the, the open spaces on the pine cone like that. See? So you'll just keep doing that until you fill up all the empty spaces. I kind of was blown away when I was learning how to do this because I thought for sure this is the part that you would need the glue for but because the pine cones are the way they are the cotton balls just stick in there perfectly so we'll just keep tearing these apart and pushing them into the pine cone spots it gives a really great idea um, and illusion of there being feathers and I just think it's so fun and cute you might find that you only need one or two cotton balls which is fine um, you may be able to make another one if you can find some more pine cones these glittery ones are pine cones that we decided to recycle and I love them because they add more of that snowy owl look to because of the glitter but you can definitely use a regular like just a brown pine cone if you want that was what the um, directions actually suggested using but I thought this would be a great use of these glittery pine cones so I went for it <laughs> so the more you do this you the more you'll see it come together so see how it almost looks like feathers on a snowy owl I have about half of my pine cone left to fill up, so it's not too bad. This 
this would look really cute in a Christmas tree. Or any pine tree, really. Or any plant, now that I think about it. With the display one that I made when I was practicing how to make these, I took a fun picture of it after, which you can see on the library website um, and I think it might have been in our newsletter last week but I put it we have a little succulent plant at the library and I put it in that to take a picture and it looked so adorable I'm almost done I think I'm gonna put mine in my Christmas tree when I'm done with it just because it'll look so cute up there. Okay, so I have finished fluffing my pine cone up so you can see it's all filled in on all sides so once you get this part filled you'll want to decide which side you want to put your face on because we're going to give him or her or them some eyes and a beak and then we're going to add wings at the end so I'm going to use my pencil to draw a little circle on this piece of yellow felt um, just because I like to make sure that I'm getting the right size. I found it's helpful too to use one of the googly eyes because what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want the yellow showing around the outside of the googly eye. So I put the googly eye down and kind of draw a circle around that that's a little bigger um, so that way I can make sure enough of the yellow will show up when I cut it out and go to put it on my owl. So we'll do that twice because we want an owl with two eyes. <laughs> Although you're more than welcome to make a cyclops owl if that seems like a fun idea. And you don't have to draw the circles if you don't want to. I just like to so I know where I'm gonna cut when I make my cuts. Because once we do that, we'll take our scissors and we're gonna cut out these circles. very careful when you're doing this because it is a little challenging because we're cutting such a small circle for these little pine cones and it doesn't have to be perfect just enough so there's one I'm gonna cut out my second one and they don't have to be perfectly the same size either I'm pretty sure mine are gonna be a little bit off but that's okay. As long as it looks the way you want it to when you're done, that's all that matters. Okay, just gonna trim up some of the rough edges on this one. Okay, so once you have your circles cut out, you will take your glue and just, I, You'll pick, whoops, I just dropped a googly eye. <laughs> so you'll pick up one of your eyes um, and carefully put some glue on the back of it. And then you'll kind of center that in your yellow felt circle that you just cut out. And press that down. We'll do the same thing with the other one. You don't need a lot of glue either, just a little 
dab in the center of that eye. Okay. So once you have those glued down onto your yellow felt, we'll just leave those to dry for a little bit and then we can cut out our beak. I don't, um, you can, last time I didn't draw anything on it because this is so dark. You can try to do that if you want to, um, but I found it just as easy to just cut out the shape of a beak. Let's see if I can do a decent job this time. <laughs> You can make it as long or as short as you want to. The last time I made mine extra long and it looks really funny. I wish I had had him here with me to show you, but. So I don't know if you can see, but that's my beak that I've made. I think I'll trim up that side just a tiny bit because it looks a little rough. Okay. So there's my beak. So we can put that next to our eyes that we've made. Um, and then you're going to want your piece of gray felt. Yours should be in nice squares. Um, if you got one of our kits, um, mine just looks funny because I wanted to use up all the scraps. <laughs> I didn't want to waste anything. Um, so you'll draw two, you can, I like to draw, you don't have to, but you can draw two wing shapes on here. So I'm just going to do a small outline and we don't want them to be too big because if they're too big, they won't, um, s our owls won't sit right. So I'm going to cut this one out. And if the shape is rough, that's okay. Um, I find it easier to cut it out and then trim it up some after. Okay, so here's one wing. I might trim up this side just a smidge. There's a wing. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to lay it over my felt like this. I know that might be kind of hard to see. Um, and then I'll just cut out the second wing around this one. So that way they'll be the same. Gonna do a little tiny trim here. And now we have two wings. If you want, you can take a black permanent marker and draw little tiny half circles on here in rows to make it look like little feathers. I'm not gonna do that because this particular felt um, looks kind of feathery anyway. So I'm just gonna leave that as it is. So our eyes are probably dry by now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our eyes and the, the back side of it, the side that doesn't have the eye on it, we're gonna add a little dab of this glue. And then we're gonna glue it onto our owl. The key to gluing the parts onto the owl is that you want to make sure you're going to do it on a side where you can access some of the pine cones because where the cotton balls are not glued in, if you just glue it to the cotton balls, you'll be able to pull it right out. Um, so find a spot that where you can um, easily get to some pine cone bits to glue onto and then you can stick your eyeballs on. And the tacky glue might not be totally dry on our, our um, googly eyes, so you might 
feel it moving around a little bit and that's okay because it will take a bit to totally dry um but once it does it will set and you won't have to worry about it so we've done one eye so i'm going to go ahead and do the second eye whoops oh i dropped my eye again My eyes just don't want to stay still today. <laughs> okay. So we'll stick this one on. Okay, once we have both of our eyes on there, see like this? My guy's a little tilted, so he's a little funny looking, but that's okay. <laughs> so once you have both of your eyes on there, then you will do the same thing with the beak. We're gonna line it up kind of just under the eyes like a nose. So you'll take just a little bit of this tacky glue or whatever kind of glue that you're using Put that on the back of the felt part, felt of the beak, and stick that on. <laughs> I can't help but laugh because they're so funny looking. So here it is with his beak on. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the wings. So on each wing, you'll really just wanna do a line right up at the top here. It's kinda of hard to see because the pieces are so small, but right across the top, and then you'll wanna stick it onto the pine cone. So we'll do the same thing. We'll put some of this glue on the back. And just do a little line across the top there. And we're gonna stick this on. And once we have that one stuck on, we'll do the other side. Okay. <laughs> So we should have both of our wings on now. And this will take a little bit to dry. So when you're done putting these on, you'll just want to let it sit somewhere. But there we have our snowy owl pine cones. Mine's a little crooked, like I said, because of the bottom of my pine cone, but I still am really happy with him. I hope you guys are really happy with how yours turn out too. I had so much fun doing this project this time around. And I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for yours. So if you want to share your snowy owls with me, I would love to see them. You can email them to me. My email address is kendall.chapman at bhpl.net. If you are unsure of finding, sending it to the correct email address, you can double check and find my email address on the website. Um, I'm so happy that you guys joined me for another Crafternoons and I can't wait to see you for the next one. Bye everybody.